Here's a question. Does a 2019 Wilgem bunker base design work in 2022 rust? That's the question we're going to try and answer today. And seeing as we're building a Wilgem base design, what better place to build it than on Wilgem's solo only server? And that's the main mission of this wipe to find out how much buildings changed between 2019 and 2022. And at the same time, if we up our building chops a little bit, who's to say that that's a problem, eh? So let's get stuck in and let's find out if those old 2019 designs are still viable in 2022. On my first run inland from the beach, I gathered as many items from barrels and boxes as I could and recycled them at Bandit while I tried to figure out my building location. Onwards, snowbound. Being between water treatment and satellite dish seems like seems like it's gonna be pretty good. I think, yeah, I think you're right though. If I'm gonna build a Wildren base, I've gotta build in the snow, and I let's just go all in with it. I might just build here, you know. Water treatment there, dome there, um, satellite over there. Maybe, maybe this is the spot, you know. But yeah, let's just do it here. Hopefully. There's enough space here to expand everything. Okay, that's that bit done. First little bit out here as well. Where the... Where the triangle there. We need another door and another lock. And then we need to upgrade all these. Okay, so that's the start of done. Need a little wooden box. And then we are, we're looking pretty good so far. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, is it a wilderness base without a bear rug? Is it bollocks, bruv? Right, go and get some more farm. Wooden stone. Any nodes anywhere at all. Um, good. Little runs, that's what I've learned with this game recently. Short runs, depot often, and you tend to lose less stuff. One, two, three, four, nearly five, okay. Oh. Give him a minute. Disappear. Wonder where his base is. We've got enough to finish the upgrade to get everything to stone. I think if I'm lucky, I've got enough low grade to make. Oh no, I haven't. Oh yeah, I have. Make a furnace. Get a load of this metal cooking. Right, more farm, I suppose. Right, I think I need to find some cloth from somewhere because I don't even have a bow at the moment. And that's not good. But resource-wise, we're looking, we're starting to look all right. We need more wood. But other than that, we're looking all right. There's a recycler satellite dish in there. So let's take these, try and get some cloth, take some arrows with me, and then hopefully we can just make a bow when we get there. And that seems like about as solid plan as I'm going to get at the moment. Satellite's not, it's not that far either. Just hope I don't run into homeboy that was running around before. Cause more problems than it solves. Let's get this bow done. And then I might feel, I mean, I'm not going to feel safe, but feel a little bit more confident. 
finally got, yeah he's only taken me uh nearly an hour but i finally got a bow I spent the next hour or so farming wood, metal, sulfur, comps and anything else I could find at Satellite Dish and the surrounding area before adding the first layer of honeycomb to the base. This was an EU server so I wanted to make the most of it being quiet in the morning and get as far into the build as I could before the pop starts rising in the afternoon. It was also now that I had an interaction with another player that would very much set the tone for this server and this wipe. Hey man, how's it going? Do you hear me? Yeah, 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 I can hear you. Sorry, I didn't have voices on, man. How you doing? Uh, I, I'm sorry for killing you earlier, but your body should be still there, by the way. All good, man, no worries. Hey, in the wood. Is that your base up on the hill there? No, no, man. I lived on, I lived on the hill. Oh, fair play. Take All right, care, man. man. Yeah, you too, man. Take care. Convinced he was going to come and kill me. Just get these foundations in. I felt like adding this honeycomb was important because I wanted to get the base into a relatively strong state before I started going on other ropes. Even though I had a total of zero loot at the moment, I wanted to make sure that the base itself was strong and secure because completing it was my main mission for this wipe. And I didn't want to have to be constantly starting from scratch because I hadn't built properly. Honeycomb here, above the TC. With the first layer of honeycomb now complete around the most important areas on the base, I headed out to explore the area around me, hit dome and water treatment as well, and just get a general lay of the land. Of course it's about to be night time, isn't it? One time that I actually need to be able to see what I'm doing. Look at that for a view for a Wildrum base build, eh? He is right, you know, there are some parts of this game that just look spectacular. Like it has its might. I know it's it's rust and it's ridiculous and it's this and it's that, but it has its moments where it is it is awesome. Plenty of good scrap. Oh, supply signal. Come on now. Um, do I throw that? That might be my first chance at a gun. But oh, I haven't got a gun to defend it with. Do you ever find that happens? Like the second you get loaded, you start running home. Or you get a piece of loot that you really want, whether it's a gun or a garage door or whatever it is. The second you start running back, you hear like, you pay attention to every little creak, every little rustle every little bit of wind like oh my god what is it what is it what is it and it's sort through these boxes as well really now the question is do i throw them here and just go to hell with it or do i take them somewhere else i don't know what, what do you reckon boys either leg it down to fishing village and then swim out but there's labs there and there's lighthouse and there's harbour and stuff and try and throw them in the sea or do i just throw them here and just and just hope for the best. I haven't seen anyone around here for a while. This area's been pretty quiet. I might just throw them here, you know. What's the worst that happens? I lose them? Well, I haven't got any guns to start with, so... Yeah, forget it. Just lob them here. Let's go back to satellite dish while they're coming. I'm just hoping that where I've built out in the middle of nowhere and this area's been quiet for a while, there's not going to be anyone here that comes to contest them. grenade tail. Right, the smoke's gone. Right, the most obvious part of it, the giant plumes of purple smoke has gone. That base is not online, but hopefully everything's going to be okay. That doesn't sound good at all. I bet they haven't both fallen already. They were so high up. Ah, oh, what a waste. So, right, next plan. Um, what do we need? We need guns. We need at least one or two. I'm just on a mission for scrap now. I just, I want that. I want enough scrap to get down to Thompson 
and pistol bullet, and then I'll be happy. They've changed the lighting for these torches and stuff as well, haven't they? I quite like it. It feels more realistic to what it would be like in real life, you know? Like, it's easy. it makes life easier if you're solo, because you're not lit up like a Christmas tree from a thousand miles away, do you know what I mean? Night in this game is rough as it is. Oh, there's a link press. Med stick, massive. Okay, not bad. Oh, come on. Come on. But, oh, if that's the same guy, I'm going to be really annoyed. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. Oh, oh, that's annoying. The next few roams also didn't go well. And I decided to get more of the base done and come back stronger tomorrow. But genuinely, I was happy with the progress that I'd made over the day. It wasn't world beating, but the base was started, it was secure, and I had a good platform to start from tomorrow. Right, so that's... I built this wrong already. Oh, I think I fucked this up. Um, let me work this out. Let me work this out. I put an extra bit of honeycomb there, which I, which I shouldn't have. And now cannot demolish. It also means that I can't put the triangle in there, which means I can't get the entrance right. Oh! oh that, that, I need to work out how to get rid of that other bit of honeycomb which is in the way. Um, all of everything else in the build is right, apart from the bit that's the main entrance into the base. And now, let's try and get this bunker done. Right, so I need to pick these furnaces up first. Now, the idea is that you put a square floor piece there, and then on top of that, you put a roof. Placing the roofs, is the most painful part of this game. It really is. I'll have to go back and watch the Wildren video, but it means we can at least put the furnaces back, get them running again. So it turns out that this particular mechanic of building bunkers is something that was phased out a very long time ago. I also figured that taking the stone out of the TC and letting it decay overnight might make it easier to get rid of that extra little bit of honeycomb that I didn't need. And I logged off praying that I didn't get raided overnight. Right, so, let's have a little catch-up. So, we've got all this stuff in TC, plenty of sulphur. We will have plenty of low-grade once we get it cooking. Plenty of frags and whatnot. We've got some more stone in there. Um, this is all the, the a box of shite I'm going to recycle for the most part. I'm going to keep, keep hold of these. Put them down there. I'm going to keep hold of that. So everything in the top half of this box pretty much is going to get recycled because it's nonsense. This is my weapons box, <laughs> which has got nothing in it. And this one is like comps. Some of it will get recycled as well. Some tools and the little amount of clothing and cards I have. So let's get let's get old Chaney. Go and get some wood, and then we can get back on the build. You and Brit always hoard rubbish. I did, wait, look, listen, man. This is you never know when that bit of rubbish is going to come in handy. Uh, oh, I've got all this charcoal as well. Up satellite dish real quick and see what's going on over there. No, let's not get distracted. Let's do some building first. Place these bits that need replacing, and then we can go around. Right, so, so from down here, we're gonna put triangle there, triangle there, the one in there. That right? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Okay, and then this one goes. that right and then eventually in there we're going to put an oil refinery in there eventually but that will still be our way up for the time being then we can do upgrade that because that's going to fall out replace all these walls that decayed overnight I'll upgrade those in a little bit I just want to make sure that Got everything right to start with, you know. Uh, we can put pause here, 
in air as well and fill these walls in again. Okay, so that's those. So then this is going to end up being the main way in. That's going to be there. And there'll be another one. I don't know if that's right, actually. I'm going to take that out. Right there. Okay, so let's get some stone and start upgrading. As soon as I'm done with this, I need enough scrap to tech tree down to garage doors. Otherwise, I'm going to start losing my mind. That'll also give me the window that I need to block the TC in as well, which is obviously helpful. Okay, we're starting to get somewhere. So that goes like that. This is why, for the most part, I didn't explore building properly. Because it's such a... I'd like... I struggle with it. Really struggle with it. But it is what it is. It needs doing, so... Okay. Now we're starting to look a little better. Goes up. Like that. That will go in there, and that'll have a thing on it there. And then this one, it's honeycombed in as well. Like that. Might as well fill this back in while we're here as well. There'll be a refinery in there. That will get. I might as well seal that in now, actually. Now I think I'll fix the errors from yesterday. We can go and have a little roam. Maybe go satellite dish, do the green card puzzle, or the blue card puzzle, whatever it is. However you say it. Get the blue card. Uh, and then have a little break from building. Get some of the scrap that we need to research things like oil refineries, garage doors, and the like. We're looking good. There shouldn't be anyone around, hopefully. We'll just take these. And take something to open some barrels with, because that's what I forgot yesterday. That, that's that, that's that. Right, let's go sat dish. Let's see what's happening. We'll leave the cards for the time being. We'll just see what's what. Got him. Buddy got him. Stone fireplace. Massive. Two supply signals. Right, okay. That will do. Let's go home. That's huge, man. Yesterday, I had the same thing. And... I got stitched up a little bit. By my, I stitched myself up, I should say. Threw him in the wrong place. But that feels... Today feels... I'm more hopeful about today. I don't know where to throw him. I'm going to have to work this out. I might take him down to the ocean. I've got no guns to defend him, though. That's the thing. I need to find somewhere where there's absolutely no one around. Because if someone rolls up trying to steal him, I, I can't contest it. That does feel like a win. Feels like a huge... Oh, a huge win, to be honest. A little dub run... A little dub run. Oh, someone's just been in. Right, well, let's just go to Dome then. Look the horse. Hello, horsey. Whoa, 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 whoa. Chill, 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 chill. America. America, really? Oh, that's annoying. Hopefully he didn't loot me. He didn't take any... He didn't... Literally didn't take anything. If that guy's just been here as well, I'm going to be really, really annoyed. Is there, no, is there anything else around here? A lot of low... There's a lot of low grade down there. Jesus. We'll just keep... Oh, no, there is some boxes. Oh, hope restored. Hope has been restored, gentlemen. Well, beggars can't be choosers, I suppose. Maybe I'll just recycle, craft some tier 1 stuff, and go smoil, maybe. Considering this is a solo-only server, there are some monstrous bases on it. Absolutely humongous. Oh, no! Come on, safe zone. Come on, safe zone. Come on, safe zone. There we go. Oh, yeah, been winning big. Come up here, you got free shit. <laughs> That's enough scrap as well 
to get to garage doors and probably a couple other bits as well. Oh, we're in. Huge. So if I wanted to get to Tommy, how much would I need? 1350? Come on now. That's ridiculous. I can do it, though, I think. I'm at nine. Just over a thousand. I can go recycle at Satellite Dish when Heli's gone. Get the requisite scrap that I need. Unlock the Tommy. Run it to Fishing Village. Boat it out to Smoil. Smoil's a, it's a long way, but it's doable. Okay. That seems like a solid plan. We can have a farm up while we're over there as well, I suppose, can't we? Of all the runs I've done, this might be the most virgin and one of the most important because it's the thing that's going to let me take three down to Tommy, which is the one thing that I've been wanting to do since yesterday. <laughs> so if I can do this successfully and without an issue, it will be all right. Let's try and get this back. That is every last bit of scrap I need, I think. Well, that's only 1350. I've got 350 on me plus. Yeah, that should be enough. Got it home, lads. Got it home. Okay, so that's 1372. That's enough. Uh, where's that? Sorry. Yeah, I don't. I don't have anything in here, man. Just leave me alone. He's gonna keep raiding. Do this anyway. Boom, Tommy, baby. Tommy's done. Tommy's unlocked. So now what do I need to... Have I got a pistol bullet? Haven't. Oh, no. Pistol bullet's tier one, isn't it? Let's see what we need to do. Pistol bullet. Who was that? Oh, wow. Oh, okay. This server's weird, man. This server's really strange. Right, well, we can go to Smoil. We can go to Smoil. What do I need to make a Tommy? SMG bodies and springs. How many SMG bodies have I got? Ten? Come on now. Wooden high car. Okay. So let's make just let's make a couple just to start with. I'll research that bullet. I need to make a research bench as well. What do you need for a research bench? I don't think I've ever crafted a research bench. What else do I need to unlock? I need to unlock meds as well. No more scrap left. So we need meds. 120 left. We're about as prepared as I'm gonna get, I think. God damn polar bear. I might have enough on me. Let's see if there's a recycler in there. I hope there is. Oh no, there is. Yeah, there is. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Um, right. How is that only 28? How is that only 28 scrap? What we'll do, we're being sensible, so we'll make a bag and a stash, and we'll leave some stuff here so we leave the scrap and stuff here so we can come back to it. Because there's a big old base over there next to the lighthouse and I don't really want to risk too much. Right, so let's put scrap. Uh, let's put cards in there, some meds. Yeah, I didn't I I think I don't think that base is active. It looks like it's either decaying or raided. But I just didn't want to take the chance because there's a, oh there's another one over there as well. That sound the sound of those new hatchets is awesome. That little metallic ting to it. I'm a big fan of that. So it just sounds... It sounds great. Green key card again. Nice. Still a little bit more stacked than I'd want to be going to spoil. But that... It turns out that after all the hassle of running lighthouse to get enough scrap to buy a boat, while I was doing all that, someone died to a shark right on the edge of the fishing village. So instead of wasting my scrap on buying another one, I just dived in, stole their boat and beelined it to Smoil. Scientist is a good sign. Let 
then what I'm going to do is try and bait as many down as I can. Just try and bottleneck them a little bit, I suppose. You sons of bitches. Two of them. And then there comes more. Well, that was lucky. That was literally the last, bu <laughs> the last bullet. They've made these scientists more aggressive, haven't they? Plenty of ammo, that's good. And we're getting the meds back, which is always a help as well. Oh, whiff bad there. Is that the last one or is there more? What do we reckon? I reckon there's got to be at least one more. Not in there. I don't have a red card, which is annoying. There's not a recycler here either, which is double annoying. Right, blue room time. All I wanted was like a supply signal or something, but never mind. Happy with the overall outcome of the oil rig run and full of loot, I headed back to the fishing village to recycle all the stuff that I didn't need. It was also here that I bumped into the guy whose boat I'd originally stolen. He was looking to keep farming the ocean and I wanted to go to cargo, so we did a straight swap and I headed off to try and take cargo for the first time I've ever tried as a solo. one on the front. Is there anyone on there? There's no one on here, is there? Oh, whoa! Jesus, boys! Jesus! Okay, so that's not the way to fly. That's not the way to fly to cargo. I'm only 37 out now. I need to go and heal. Right. Just crash land it. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to, I think. Just crash land it onto the back. Is it the back? The back's probably best, isn't it? Where is it? Oh, he's up there. Asshole. Oh god, there's another one. I'm as good as dead. Where was he shooting from? Oh, he's there. Oh, you can't shoot through the gap. Come on. Shit. Well, that was a disaster. That was an absolute disaster. Let's just try and secure this loot. Let's try and get this back. Come on, where are the others? Third one. Is yeah. I've got all this on me. No guns. <laughs> and I've got to try and make it all the way home. Uh, let's... Hey brother, you want to buy a boat? Uh, 
No, I'm all I'm all good, man. I'm all good. I'm all good. I need to I need to get back. To, I'm going back to my base. Can't sail anywhere close to my base, so can't get I can't get back onto cargo without a gun. And I've still got a I've still got a um still got to finish the base as well. So even with losing a cargo, like we've still come away with a lot. And I've got those two supply signals to throw as well, which I might do when I get back actually. Man is absolutely stacked. If this was like heavy modded, that'd be a lot of gear. Do you know what I mean? Oh, I haven't been raided. That's a good. That's good. But I haven't got a ladder. Got to do this real quick. Where's that ladder? That feels like a very successful run. So we've got. 1100 scrap and high quality the core now get that bear meat cooking get the core to high quality well then eventually i'll get an armored door for this and that'll be that more bear rugs than i don't know what to do with this is a wilton base now we're turning we're finally turning into a wildren base we've got enough bear rugs to finally say it's a wildren base and, uh, three green cards and a blue we've got the window that we want so now i need to research some stuff garage door and the like because these double doors are doing my melanin man proper right so to get to garage door we need that 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 and that how much what have we got left 985 oh i didn't mean to press that jesus 325 right let's get down to sar as well okay now we've got the guns that i'm most proficient with 500 scrap left uh so let's craft some garage doors ah oh, there we go it's finally happened i've been waiting for that for so long Two rows of two rows of sulfur in a TC. Who would have thought it, eh? Let's have all different doors, shall we? Let's be that guy today. Right environment down here, and it is for a good cause as well, you know, charitable rust and all that. There we go. So what we're going to do now is we're going to work out how to finish this base. But I need wood in order to do that, so I should probably go and farm first. Away. Let's work this out. So the refinery is going to go in there. I we'll need to come out two triangles off there and then one up a bit next to it. So one there, one there, one there, and then that could be a triangle there, but that's actually a roof, so that doesn't matter. Um, doorways here, here, all there. So that's right, that's right, that's right, that's right, that's right, that's right, and here, so I had to make a, a couple little changes just to allow for like the terrain and stuff and the fact that I build like a moron most of the time, but, so that's good, that can get up through there, uh, and then we'll put and then a furnace in this triangle for the jump up, up into there means that metal wall's got to go as well but that's all right we can get rid of a metal wall pretty easy that goes like that, that, goes like that. and this one can disappear and that's it that's our main entrance right there so i'll get some doors some stone we need to get rid of that let do this jump what's the jump up? oh that's the jump up for the time being that's all right what we need is a roof above that but i can't do that until i've got the refinery in there so for the time being we're about as far as we can go so i can get some stone stone all that up this is turning into a very successful day i'm not used to it so we're getting there we are getting there how many satchels do you need to get through one of those walls. 20 satchels, isn't it? 
I don't really want to waste all of that dolva on fixing a wall that I put in the wrong place, if I'm honest. So maybe what we'll do instead, let's go on a little run. Should we go and run Arctic? Did you get Ricardo Arctic? Let's go and find out. Um, it's nice that the sun's at the absolute wrong spot as well. There he is. Got how many shots? Honestly, I don't know how many times I've got to hit him. Oh. Oh. Where's my gun gone? I had a Tommy. Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Where's it gone? There it is. Right, now you're fucked, bruv. Oh, come on, there's an, of course there's another one. Of course there's another one. Oh my god, there's a third one. Jesus. God, my aim sucks. And I'm down to... Right, this is not going to work. 17 bullets and no meds. We're about to call this off. Oh, Jesus. He's got bullets. He's got bullets. Right, okay. Sit down, son. I'm out. I've run out of meds. I've got nine bullets left. This is just not worth it. Feeling pretty bummed out after a terrible Arctic run, I found an absolutely mental shot from someone who looked like they were getting off the server. So I ran to Bandit to clean it out before anyone else noticed. Whoever that was was getting rid of their base. Well, well, I'm assuming that's what they're doing. I can't imagine they're doing that for profit. After the chaos of yesterday, who would have thought that I'd have Tommies and stuff running around with, with all this? Who wouldn't have thought it, would you? Who wouldn't have thunk it? I'm going to check see if there's any elite crates in here real quick. It's probably a bad idea. Probably a bad idea. Oh, see, look, there's one right there. That's another one. Okay. Oh! Made it home. Okay, so what do I need now to craft? 250 low grade, 50 mil, 500 metal frags, 200 wood. That's nothing. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I've got the low grade actually. Dome's on point for for low grade, isn't it? With time starting to get on, I decided to head to Bandit to buy an ore refinery from Outpost as they are only 125 scrap. After getting it home and placing it, I crafted up 20 satchels to break the wall that I'd put in the wrong place so I could finish the second floor of the base off. Bane of my life is out the way. Lovely. Right. I have to look through the rest of the build. And I think I know how it all works. So I'm going to make some garage doors. And we're going to go and try and finish off the second floor. So, 
I'll show you. I've added a couple little bits already just to correct the mistakes that I made before. So I'll walk you around now. So we have main entrance here. Main entrance here brings you into this standard like airlock type thing here. That's in there, obviously sealed in. Furnish jump up, and then we're gonna seal all of this in here. So that's gonna have a wall there and a wall here. It's gonna be door frame here. Like that, trade all these. That goes like that. Then we block this one in here, and then we can jump up these in okay so that's those close that up as well this is the thing with the building like it's a this is the the, the building is the trickiest part of it um, that in okay right so that's that and then we leave that oh no I need to leave that open don't I, I need to leave that open because that's how we're gonna get up to the next floor garage door on there with a lock normally in here he does it with in the build video he does it with a um another shell like halfway up but i think i might do it with a ladder hatch but i'm not entirely certain what do i need to make a ladder hatch? 300 metal frags three gears and a wooden ladder do i have a ladder i prefer ladder hatches personally i think they make life a little bit easier or in uh We'll frame in there so I turn that into that and then we'll put the ladder hatch in facing there we go that will be our top floor access so now that that's done we can start closing everything in this floor in there, in there, triangle there triangle there That's the second floor done. We will floor in here, sell that for boxes, depot boxes. And if someone wants to go the door path, I want to make it like as hard for them as possible. And this will be, that will be access up to here. We'll have some heli space. We will have some shotgun traps. And we'll have some more honeycomb up here as well. The next day, I wasn't really able to play properly, so I jumped on in the evening just to chuck some stuff in the TC for upkeep, had a quick run around satellite dish to see what was going on when this happened. Overall, the second day and this little stint in the evening had gone pretty well. Like I had a lot of sulfur, I had a lot of comps, the base was starting to take shape really, really well, other than the mistakes that I'd made in the build, which hopefully I'd now corrected all of. So I once more went to bed, begging not to be offline raided and hoping that everything would still be as I left it when I logged back in the next day. Offline to 
I didn't get on yesterday, really. Um, I did a little bit of just stuck some more upkeep in the TC in the evening just to keep things ticking over. I was, there was a lot of people around who got raided yesterday, so I was convinced that I was going to be one of them. But thankfully, I wasn't. If we go in here, we got a whole box. That's what? One, two, three, four, five, six, twelve. There's 18 there. There's some stone in there. There's a little bit more somewhere. Yeah, 18, 19 and a half. Say I've got, I think. Yeah, 19 and a half. Uh, right, so first order of business today, I suppose. Let's have a little roam, see what's been going on. I actually did yesterday as well kill a man for his AK, which is kind of huge. We're going to take that to rig a little bit later. But for now, we'll just take just take a custom and some bits. We're going to have a little roam around, see what's going on. And then um, supply signals, I would imagine. I'll just show you what's in the TC as well, just in case. So we've got a thousand scrap in there. Plus all this, that's just a couple days worth of upkeep, I suppose. Here, we've got some comps and stuff that I picked up yesterday. We've got another 500 scrap there. Another blue card. Oh, I might take one of those, actually, and see if there's another blue card at Satellite Dish that we can get. Um, so we're looking pretty juicy. We're getting there. Right, okay, let's do it. I started this day the same way that I'd started the two before it, with a quick run around Satellite Dish in the surrounding area, just to have a little farm up and see what had happened overnight. I hadn't really been on the day before, so I was curious to see if anything major had changed. I grabbed another blue card from Satellite Dish before heading down to Water Treatment and Dome, with the eventual end of my plan being to go to Bandit, get a mini and go and hit Smoil. I'd done it yesterday, but not with the heavies. I felt like I hadn't really completed it properly, so that was top of the list for today. God. Gosh, that was loud right in my ears, man. Another two supply signals. Come on now. These dome runs so far had been money. Juicy elite crates up on the top floor just kept giving me the things that I needed. I had a feeling today was going to be a good day eager to keep this run of good luck running and with a lot of positivity in the chat i depoted everything from dome and water treatment went to bandit and bought myself a mini with a spring in my step this big and four supply signals to throw these scientists weren't gonna have a clue what is them is that dropping a crate at airfield i hope it is it is Let's start that off before we go smoil shall we It'll be a nice little something to come back to now Oh, that was lucky. Then he went off the edge. That's really My aim is... I haven't, you can tell I haven't warmed up today at all. Anything I've shot's up there. Yeah, right, that's four. Right, okay. Ooh, two, three, four. Um, that's close. Um, Eleven thirty-nine. That's right. Save the worst till last, at least. Is that the Glock? That's the new Glock, isn't it? I was hoping for some rockets, but we got the Glock, which I wanted to try out, and we've got the uh, C4 as well. We've got two C4, four satchels. Please, please, please. Oh, a bit heavy, but it's okay. Right, let's go see if we can get... Let's go see if we can get the... Crate that's at airfield. Oh, 
Oh, someone's already been here. Uh, what's close by? Got a band of military. today, is it? Jesus. I think somebody's been here relatively recently because all the elite crates have gone. Yeah, I think someone's been here and cleaned this all out already. Just saying that, there were people ML MLRS in a few minutes ago, weren't there? Sorry. A disappointing airfield crate and a less than fruitful run through the abandoned military base sent me to Outpost to recycle what I had got before I went home to try and finish the base. That's close as well. A couple of close landings today. The rest of it, I suppose, is going here for the time being. We'll have a proper sort out in a little while. that I was watching you play the game for the first time. I'm not chatting out. Let's be let's be serious. I'm not chatting out. But there has been there has been an improvement, let's put it that way. I, at least I feel like there's been an improvement. Is that gonna do it? Yes. There we go. Right, so that's the roof finished. That is the base complete. Apart from a little wall in here. With the base now complete I wanted to get back onto the original mission I'd set myself for the day, the heavy scientists at Small Oil Rig. So my next stop was a trip to Airfield to try and find myself a red card. Right, out the recycler room. Oh, does this mean someone's just been here? Someone's already been here, haven't they? Oh, there it is. Nice. But, you know, I'll tell you what, this is a wiper first because that's the first time I know it doesn't count because all the scientists were already dead. That's the first time I've done a red, a red card puzzle solo. Feels kind of good, I'm not going to lie. Now, equipped with a red card and feeling pretty good about myself, I headed out to Smoil to complete my final mission of the wipe. to whiff city son we're whiffing all over the place today jesus sit down and you all right here we go That's not all of them, is it? Oh, they glitched. 
So that's six, isn't it? Is that right? That one that I can hear is just the one down the bottom. That was pretty successful. I'd, dude, you have no idea how bad I am at this. I need as many meds as I can get my hands on. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. I'd still say that's probably not enough. <laughs> Here we go. Um, a hum lung. Okay. Tommy. Okay. Um, having almost completely run out of time, I wanted to make sure that I did something good for someone else before I left the server. I'd noticed over the last couple of days that on this server there were a lot of players that were new to the game. Whether they come in through watching Wildrum's videos or for whatever other reason, they were less than a hundred hours, some of them. So I figured that I might as well do something good and take a base that's loaded full of explosives and sulfur and scrap and God knows whatever else and just give it away. Ah. Oh my, you're rich, bro. <laughs> There's, um... Not... The line is six. Oh my god, that's my favorite game. There's, oh um... That little box in front of the TC as well. You... Oh, there we go. Yeah, have a look yeah, in there. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Thank you, bro. I no. love you. No worries, man. And there's some stuff in the TC as well. Um... This little box here has got some stone in it as well, so like, there's plenty there. Um, I'm going to chuck all this stuff that I have. I've got some stuff on me now, and I'm going to go get out of here. But enjoy the base, man. Thank you, bro. Nah, no worries, man. Yeah, Anytime. Thank you. No worries. Um, down here as well, once you get TC, down here. Where are you? Down here. There's, a, there's an oil refinery in there as well. Yeah, so, uh, and I'll just unlock all these as well. The second I walk out of here, this heli's gonna wreck me, so I'll, uh, I'll say see you later. You missed, you missed. Right, that's the end of my wipe. I've done a good deed. I've helped out a little kid. Thank you everyone for sticking in, man. I really appreciate it. Thanks again, and I'll see you all soon. Take care. So that was my attempt at building a 2019 Wildrum base design in 2022. Granted, the bunker didn't work the same way that it used to do, and I made more mistakes than I think anyone has ever made in a base build ever. But other than that, I've enjoyed the base, I've enjoyed the building process, and I've enjoyed, for the most part, trying to get my head around this process in Rust a little bit more. And being able to take all of that loot and materials and everything that I got together and give it to someone that was new to the game was a real highlight for me. And I hope it made their wipe, made their time in Rust a little bit more productive maybe, and also showed them that this game isn't full of toxic deadbeats that just want to shout abuse at people all the time and lastly i hope that you've enjoyed watching this i've certainly enjoyed creating it and i hope you'll come back for the next one if you're not currently subbed up on youtube and following on twitter and everywhere else i'd suggest you do we've got a lot of fun duos coming in the next few weeks and my upcoming one year youtube anniversary creeps around in january so we're going to have a lot of stuff planned we're going to have a lot of fun again Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.